In this video, I show you how to use AirDrop on your Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my Mac and let's get right into this guide. So I'll be showing you how to go and AirDrop from your Mac to other Macs and also iOS devices like an iPhone or an iPad. So the first thing you need to do is make sure both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled on your Mac. To do that, you need to go and open up the system settings. So go and press on the system settings button in your dock, or alternatively, you can go and search your Mac for it using the spotlight search at the top. But I'm gonna go and tap on system settings down here. Then I'm just gonna go and center this for you. And then what you need to do is go over to the left hand side and go and tap on Wi-Fi. Make sure it's toggled on. Um, you don't actually need to be connected to a network. Then go over to the left hand side and go and tap on Bluetooth, just like so, and make sure that is switched on as well, as basically Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is how AirDrop works. Now that you've done that, you can now go and close the settings. But it's important to note that you need to do this on the receiving device as well. So if you're trying to go and uh, send documents to another Mac, then make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also turned on on that device as well. And if you're using an iOS, device you also need to make sure uh, that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are also turned on on that device as well to do that just open the control center and make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both turned on they're going to be blue if they're turned on and white or clear if they're not and the next thing you need to do on the receiving device which you want to go and send or airdrop things to you need to make sure that airdrop is enabled to do that on a Mac what you need to do is go and open up the finder so go and tap on your finder like so which is a sort of smiling man then what you need to do is make sure airdrop is selected on the left hand side if it isn't in this list here then what you need to do is go right to the top and tap on go and then you can go and tap on airdrop here then what you need to do is come back to this page here and where it says allow me to be discovered by tap here and i recommend selecting everyone because otherwise you may not be a contact and it just makes things simpler to keep it to everyone and to do that on iphone all you need to do is open your control center once again by swiping down on your battery then holding your finger uh, on in between the four options of airplane mode cellular data wi-fi and bluetooth expand it and that's like just like that and then what you need to do is go to the bottom left where airdrop is and make sure everyone is selected there just for the same reasons uh, contacts only is just a bit annoying because they have to be a contact and otherwise receiving off is going to completely disable it so make sure everyone is selected just like so now that you've done that all you need to do is go and find a file or photo or whatever you want to go and transfer um, on your mac and i'm going to go in this case go and do this a pdf then all you need to do is click on it with two fingers then go and tap on share just like this uh, and then we have some share options and then what you want to do is go and tap on airdrop and then it's going to go and find everyone it can go and detect in your local area who's got um, airdrop enabled in this case it's just my iPhone so I then go and tap on it like so or they say waiting and sending and yeah as you can see on my iPhone I've got this thing here so I can go and choose where I want to go and save it I tap on files and then I can choose where I want to go and save it on my iPhone and tap on save in the top right just like so and if you're airdropping to another Mac then what's going to happen is is the file's going to to go and appear in the downloads folder so all you need to do is go and open up your finder once again and then go over to the left hand side and go and tap on downloads and that's where your files are going to go and appear if you guys found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace